Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Say It Like It Is with your boy Franklin. Okay, it's a brand new year and as you know, it's that time of the year where everyone has got this so-called resolution thing going on and then oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna lose that weight, I'm gonna start that business and it's great, it's amazing, okay? It's a beautiful thing to be presented with with a brand new slate of 365 or 366 days for you to start afresh and be able to improve yourself in respective areas of your life. But the problem is everyone starts off, you know, uh, 1st of January, there's that buzz, you know, you're fired up, you want to achieve goals and stuff. And by the end of January, mid-February, most people, those goals start to fizzle out, those buzz, and people pretty much just go back to their old selves and you realize that all those goals, those ideas, those to-do lists, they just move to the back of the shelf or the bottom of the shelf and people don't do anything about them and then we get frustrated, we get caught up in that same thing, you get to the end of the, the year again and the vicious cycle carries on. So number one is get specific about your goals. It's very important, you know. We can sit down as humans, I believe, we conceive ideas every day. Oh, I'd like to do that, I'd like to do that. You need to be specific, okay. This is a brand new year, this is a brand new slate. What is it? If there are three things you want to achieve this year, write them down, you know, and also when you write down your goals, you need to break those goals into tiny bits. Now, what do I mean? For example, you might say, okay, this year I want to be able to read, I want to be able to look back at the end of the year and then to be able to say, oh, I've read 100 books, okay? But, but the thing is that that's where the problem is. You know starts from for most people because when you say oh I want to read I want to read 100 books for someone who maybe in the past years you you're not the type that read books except if you're writing a particular exam and stuff believe me that's an unrealistic goal so when you break that down realistically and you might say okay you know what in each month I will make it a point I'll make it a goal to read at least one book within the cycle of 30 days or 31 days. So that's more realistic because if you pick up a book, you would have achieved that goal, right? And then the next month you pick up another book, what you realize is in two, three, four, five, six months, you might have gone through four books, five books, and then that actually trains your mind, that trains the habits and lets you go from there. These applies to any other goals, okay? The same thing, it might just be with weight loss. Okay, say you wanna to go to the gym three, four, five days a week, right? If you, if you just say, oh, I wanna lose 20 kg, uh, I'm gonna start running, I'm gonna buy running shoes and stuff, it then becomes overwhelmed. If you start off with maybe going to the gym one day a week, or maybe two days a week, at least one day a week, and you stick with it, you set alarm, you know, you set alarms and you wake up, you go to that gym at least one day a week, because one day a week would, have, would mean in a four week month, you've gone to the gym four times. In a five week month, you might have gone to the gym five times, compared with 2018, when you've been sat on your butt, you didn't even bother, right? So what you realize is, if you go to the gym five times a month for a start, you are, you, you know, you're dedicated, you're consistent, you would lose some weight, however little. Write down your goals, which is more like, be specific, write down your goals, you know, break your goals into tiny, daily goals. I, I believe, personally, I believe this is one of the best ways for you to achieve your goals and be able to actually see them materialize. So, so say for example, I want to, um, I want to, I want to, let's say for example, I want to set up a business, a particular business, right? You break down, okay, today I'm going to do, you know, market research, do an hour reading or two hours research. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. You have to get a sticky note, set reminders on your phone. You really have to put time, but when you break them down into tiny bits and you say, okay, today, today I'm gonna to do three things about my new business. You don't have to do 20 things. Sometimes when you have a list of 20 things, you end up not doing anything. Two things in a day. At the end of the day, you look at your list, you tick, you take them off, you're done. You know, that in itself is satisfying and you're getting closer and closer to achieving, you know, that bigger goal. So, and, 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 and this is how the dream, your vision, your ideas are really going to come to fruition. This is how you're going to make it. This is how you can look back at the end of the year and say, yeah, man, I've done this and I've done this well. Trust me, procrastination is one of the greatest killers of goals and visions. I'm also a victim of it. 
okay so like I said I'm not here to disseminate information and try to make myself look like I've got it all figured out right it's what the only thing I'm also bringing to the table is determination you know I've had times in the past where I want to do this I want to do that I want to do this and you end up being inundated or just being overwhelmed you know you just can't and sometimes just poor planning not being specific having really massive goals and they're not breaking it down not approaching it into tiny tiny bits and then consistency is very important you see for example I'll use weight loss as an example it's a very common topic you know weight loss or bodybuilding and stuff and people ah oh, I want to lose 30 kg I want to, like I said earlier baby steps are okay the same thing applies to everything if talk about reading some people might not be able to read one book in a month okay if one book falls into a month and a half so what the truth is in a month and a half you've actually read a book if you compare that on paper with where you were coming from you've done fantastically well there are millions of people out there who don't bother reading so if you've gone to the gym one day a week or twice a week like I say as long as you are consistent okay you stick with it and 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 with, with goals and dream the very first 30 days this is what I found out as well the first 30 days are very important okay the consistency is very crucial the first 30 days you wake up early maybe you're someone who doesn't really bother with alarms and stuff like that we all do it man we're humans you know we have our struggles our imperfections but for you to see those goals materialize you have to inculcate you have to imbibe discipline into the process if you're not prepared to be disciplined if you're not prepared to be consistent if you're not prepared to laser target your focus into helping those dreams materialize then you can only blame yourself in fact i'm of the opinion that the greatest enemy of our progress is ourselves trust me because you are that person that you have the ultimate power to stand in your own way to sabotage your own dreams forget about third parties forget about friends forget about families for a moment right you are your number one enemy believe me because if if you don't decide to pick yourself up to go to the gym who will who else will even if a friend calls you go to the gym they can only do so much if you are not interested in putting time into that um, reading those books um, learning those new skills uh, picking yourself up and making it your daily to-do list and actually sticking with the dreams sticking with a plan sticking with doing them then Anyway, that's me done, okay? I wish you well with your goals and dreams. Um, I hope this would help at least one person, okay? I would have done a fantastic job if that, that's the case, okay? If you haven't, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, it's your boy Franklin. Um, hit that little bell button if this is your first time on the channel so you can get my latest updates and uh, look around the channel. If you like what I'm about, give us a follow, okay? Show your love. Um, again, Happy New Year if you're watching this at the start of 2019. And um, yeah, see you at the top. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.